Change disciplines, Jay. Amateur MMA, middleweight division. We have Joel Haythorn in the red shorts, fan out of the blue corner, taking on Marius Postelak, blue corner in the black and red shorts. First MMA fight of the night. UFC referee Leon Roberts gets them underway. Postelak just misses with that front kick to the face. Haythorn looking for that takedown straight away. Gets Almost gets a volley drop, but reverse from Postelak to get the top position and both men look quite rigid in the stand up there not really loose let's see uh, if the ground's where they prefer Postal uh, <coughs> sorry looking to push on the face to create some space the ground and pound good head control there but you can see Aethon looking to work his guard he's trying to get his feet on the hips to maybe create some space getting the legs nice and high setting up a triangle on that left hand side potentially Haythorn trying to push from that guard but Postelak leaning in got to be mindful though if he's looking to pass on that side arm that he doesn't land himself side. in the arm bar yeah he needs to square his hips up and not keep working around the opposite side if the arm bar threat's there but he, he's looking to pass he's not past that leg though which is um, it's not a strange kind of rubber guard position there for Haythorn He's a bit of a stalemate, might be looking for an omoplata of some sort. And there's Postelax looking to get the pass. Once Postelax has passed that, the bottom leg, the uh, the rubber guard leg becomes almost useless, but Aethon's managed to pull it back. 
Good dexterity there, good flexibility in the legs from Aethorn, but couldn't quite finish any of the attacks. Pass to that now, looking a bit more composed. In the half guard, looking to pass through. Yeah, this is obviously a position he's comfortable in. Aethorn looking for the lockdown, he's obviously uh, spent some time watching or learning like the 10th Planet systems, but if you're going to go by the book, he needs to free his left arm there and whip up and get the double underups to do anything really effective. He's got his full guard back now, though. I mean, Postolas is doing a good job of controlling from the top position. Nice shot. Opens a, a cut above the left eye of his opponent. Yeah, and it, it looked to be a great deal behind them, Ben, but one of them landed nicely above that left eye. Some blood coming from there now. I'd like to see Postolas a bit more aggressive, but to be fair, Haythorn's doing a good job of neutralising him with a, with a tight guard game. From a, from a judging point of view, Jay, looking at a fight like this, it's, it's very hard unless Haythorn's a lot more active for him to be in a position to win this round. We're talking short rounds, you're talking three minutes. It's amateur rules. And if you're spending two and a half minutes, two minutes plus on the bottom, and as I say that, looks to roll through if he can and get the Oma Plata. Yeah, he's searching for that Oma Plata. Postolas trying to roll out of it. I don't think he's going to have time to finish it. The time or the strength. When you've got a guy who's really strong, it's hard to finish the Oma Plata from there. I have done it in a fight. But just saying, it's hard to do. But the Postolash is strong and uh, you know kept his posture there, didn't let his shoulder get caught on the mat. Aethon maybe has to rethink his tactics in this one. Early in the round and could work from there. That's exactly you know how he can start to win the fight working from his guard position. Both fighters clinched that. Knee. I think it's gone low there, referee's just... Uh, Doesn't look like it's straight low. Good catch from here, you know, Robert's there. Being accidental, but you know, we've seen one already tonight. That doesn't mean to say they don't hurt. I think it's quite clear from, again, the initial stand-up exchanges in the start of the second round. Both these guys definitely prefer things on the ground. Hate on clearly a, an active guard player, and I think Postolas likes to get on top. Neither, neither man really wanted to engage on the feet too much. You saw them both straight away work for that clinch. And he's just shaking his uh, balls back out. Nice little right hand there for Postolash, good knees. Shipping right hand, Clinch. some nice knees inside. And here for him, barrels his man forward. And as you say, Jay, I mean, both fighters and their, their, their eagerness to clinch really kind of showing that where their respective kind of game plans are. It'd be interesting to see if uh, Hayfon can finish a takedown from this position, what his work's like from top control. We only saw him work from the bottom in the first round. There's a takedown there for Postolas if he can carry the hips. It goes for the sacrifice throw, like the almost a lateral drop type throw, and he gets on top. And we know that he's comfortable from uh, this position. He's done very well there to, to Looking for a go go plat. He's here for he's set it up. You need to have good control. If you can control the foot and get behind the head, he could get a go go plat finish. As you say, control the and head. There's a better setup. There's a tap. Go go plat. There's a tap. Control Unbelievable. We talked about his rubber guard, he likes the guard game. Set up the Gorga Plata from there. It looked like Postolosh was trying to punch his way out of it. Couldn't get free. Beautiful finish, not often you see a Gorga Plata.